it also provides opportunity to, to check out many of the theories that relate to physics. How does Einstein's theory of space curvature, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and it goes on and on and on. Yeah. We can't do that stuff on the Earth very well. I think People figure it out in space. Right. Well, you could really apply to the physics. Maybe about, completely change it. But. It has potential to do that. More so than what we're doing now. We have to build huge tunnels to get our. Uh, and I'm not a physicist, believe me, but I read a little bit about it. And to get the linear accelerators, huge amounts of energy and money. Well, in space, you have the vacuum built in. You don't have to create that. Uh, do you do you think that uh, we'll be able to create environments where we'll be able to do tests like this that will be civilian control, or do you think it will be uh, oh, But yes, the environment's already there, and yeah. the interesting thing about uh, this conference, which in a way is kind of focusing the change in trends which you're talking about, if you look at the uh, what's happened here, there's been a lot more attention to commercial advances in space than to government control of or managing space. Sure, and that is a positive trend, uh, which this may actually be looked at as a turning point for this conference, because things are happening in space that are strictly commercially uh, originated. Spaceship One was a, a commercial effort. So, uh, and when we get to the point where business around the world finally understands that there are profits, long-range, major profits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, 